Hi, welcome to Max8 tutorial number 9. It's the tutorial on tutorials. That's right, today we swallow our own tail in the pursuit of snake-like knowledge. Um, I thought it would be useful, since we're learning about things in Max, to actually learn about how to learn about things in Max. And the nice thing about Max, like many other um, well-made programs and maker-oriented things, is that it actually has its own teaching method built into it. So let's um, take a look at that today. Um, I'm going to pull up a new window here, um, just so we can look around in a little bit. Um, let's uh, just quick make a, a, any old object in here. I'm just going to type the letter N and type multi slider yes multi slider we love multi slider but really i just needed an object out here to look at so there's our multi slider um when it's high lit um we are able to look over here at either the reference which is whoops there it is the reference which tells us a fair amount of stuff about it or the inspector and we can zoom up and down the inspector and um, learn various things about it. Um, the uh, oh, that I'm still in the inspector there. Let's go back to reference for a second. And in reference, we see all the messages we can experiment with sending to it, and then as well a whole list of attributes that we can um, modulate, we can change the color and size and all that stuff. And then there's this other nice thing that says see also. So just related things that you might be interested in. And you'll notice um, other tables and sliders that might be similar to this slider. Very interesting. And then right here, max data tutorial number one, data viewing. So there's actually a tutorial in Max that has probably multi sliders in it. Well, that's good to know. We could click on this and go to that tutorial. Or if you wanted to approach it from a different direction, I'm going to show you two ways to go to the tutorials. One is that you come over here to the left hand pane and you see this target shape or donut shape, depending on your outlook. And it is the file browser. So if you click on the file browser, um, ah, you see I was already looking around in here. Um, on the left hand side are all the things that you might um, be looking through. And this is the kinds of things that are in here. It didn't go to it. Come on, kinds. There you go. And then it says, oh, well, if I want to look at audio type things, here are audio type things. But this is not all what we're looking for. What we're going to do is scroll right on down here to this, which is, a, I believe, a, a 74 made out of rice grains, which is Cycling 74 content. And we're going to click on that. And it says built-in content. And in the built-in content, you will see there are examples and tutorials and other stuff down here that we're not talking about and tutorials. Let's go over here and look at Max Tutorials. Okay, so scrolling through these, they are the most non-descriptive Basic Chapter 01, Basic Chapter 02. This just doesn't tell me anything. I could, of course, choose one at random and just start going through these from start to finish. And then there's a little more description here, communication chapter, data chapter one. There it is. Well, I found it, but it's not easy. Okay, this is an okay way to find tutorials, but I'm going to close this and show you a different way to do it. You can also come up here to help in the main menu, click on it, and then come down here and look for reference. So if you click on reference, you get the 
documentation home for Max 8. Now, it doesn't always go to this page, I have noticed. And so if you're not at this page, just go and click this little house over here and it'll go to the right, it'll go to this page. And you'll notice um, that now they have a kind of a example of the day and things that you've looked at recently. And here we are again at Max, MSP, and Jitter tutorials. Well, the possibility to get there. Max tutorials. Now when I click on them, it sort of goes to the same thing, but it tells you what all those tutorials were all about. So we have hello and bang and numbers and lists and metro and toggle. I will just point out to you that these are all things that we've already covered in uh, rapid fire um, uh, sort of way and we've gone flying through them and now just to keep some level of uh, consistency here look data viewing remember when we were looking at the multi slider I said oh data viewing I'm just using this in a, as an example but now we could go do a tutorial about data viewing that has a multi slider in it so we click on data viewing and here's a nice big page. I know that many of you who are taking this class are like, hey, where's all the reading where we get all the words that we string together that makes us feel like we're taking a class? Well, here it is. Look at all these words. You could read all of these words. Oh, multi-slider for data viewing. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm just kidding. This is, this is all great stuff. And if you need to know the background to all of this stuff, here's the place to find it out. You know, sometimes you really need to know the technical stuff. Give it up for the technical stuff. I'm all for it. But you can also scroll over to here and you can open a tutorial, right? So now when you open the tutorial, you actually get a patcher that pops up and um, you can go through this text here and you can learn what you're doing here or you can just ignore the text as some people do and turn the thing on. Oh, cool! Well, now I'm interested. Look, I, I can change the patch or I can move stuff around. Oh, this is great. Okay. Yeah, I want to know about this. Oh, look, it's labeled multi-slider. So this is a multi-slide. This is a multi-slider. I can, I can move it. Uh-huh. I got it. See? It's counting and it's going through the list of notes. Here, we'll go, uh... Uh-huh. Wow. Cool. I just feel like it's so much more interactive. So, if I wanted to follow this, um, tutorial I find that the way I like to do it is to actually make this whole thing sort of wide. Well, it can fit on your screen either way. I'm just going to tell you that since I always end up scrolling down through them, I, um, I make these kind of sit up at the top of the screen so I can read them. And then, you know, then I can go and 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 look at this I'm like oh yeah when working with Max and I can read it and then I can go down here oh yeah I see take a look at the tutorial the patch contains a lot of objects and generate different types of graphs in fact they are all versions of the same object a multi slider hey look there's the multi slider here's a multi slider here's a multi slider great so I go through them kinda like this and it's like the right output of the multi slider blah 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 and I can look down here oh now you're watching a data stream with watch points on the multi. Oh, I see over here. I'm going to turn this on. And what data stream am I watching? Hey, look, as the mouse goes 
up to the top. It's really funny, I can't point without the mouse. This multi slider goes down to the bottom, but now I came down here, so it went up. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen, and it fills up. So this is the, the graph of the vertical mouse, and this, as you'll see in a moment, I'll move the mouse to the left, move the mouse to the right. Oh, that's cool. I totally get it. I see what they're doing. You know, so that's the way I like to watch the tutorials, and I just kind of um, scroll through them this way, reading, and then I can also kind of work through them this way. Oh, look, these two multi-sliders are coming down here and combining on this last multi-slider etc etc anyway i don't want to just go too far with the um uh saying multi slider over and over again but to get to the tu the tutorials this is a pretty good way to do it so i'm going to put this tutorial away and uh get this back up here so my preference is to go find the tutorials under the help file and then uh get them this way and when you're done with your tutorial you can always either go to the next tutorial by, <laughs> well, I was wrong. Um, you can go forward and backward where you've already been, but go back here and we say, aha, tutorials, there they are, and look up what you're interested in. We were just looking at data viewing. Oh, data scaling. Got it. Gesture capture. Capture. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for that. Well, all of this may lie ahead of you, and all of these tutorials are here. Um, so that is a good thing to know about Max. So this is reference for Max, the tutorial on tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.